I got to say this. You know, Vince McMahon, his company, uh, Pat Patterson. I don't know if you know that name or not, mm-hmm. but if Pat Patterson <laughs> was there from... I was there in the early, in, in mid seventies, and Pat Patterson was a major part of the office then. And I can't say after '94 how much part of the office he was, but I know he was the office until then. And he had a real weird sense of humor. And I, you probably get, you gotta, you gotta blame the whole barber thing, probably on Pat Patterson. Because that probably wouldn't have ever happened except for his sick sense of humor and his whole deal because his boyfriend that he, he lived with, his name was Louie. Louie was a hairdresser, hair cutter. Louie hung himself in, their, in his apartment in Connecticut. They found him hanging. And... Pat and, and Louis were, you know, together for, I don't know, 25 years or something like that. And the, the whole barber gimmick stemmed from, you know, uh, we, did a, we did an angle, we did this and we did that. But nobody's ever done a, a you know, a barber thing on, mm-hmm. on, on, in the wrestling business. A haircut match is something you did maybe once in a year, once, uh, you know, in a career or something, I don't know. Guys, when they used to leave a territory, sometimes they do a haircut match, but it really it did. It wasn't didn't really mean anything. It didn't. It wasn't. It did, but you were given the name the barber the, after that. Yeah, I mean the, the and, barber shop, the whole deal. Was committed, know, and that was Pat. And now was a Pat Patterson thought up deal. Brutus Beefcake came into WWE in late eighty three, eighty four. Mm-hmm. And and uh, that's a whole story in, in itself too. And but and uh, and and Brutus was red hot. Did the barber gimmick when you adopted the barber personality wasn't that different from the regular Brutus? They just added the you know the, the cutting and strutting thing. Uh, well, you're strutting already, but they added the cutting. Um, did that add to that popularity? You think, or do you think it watered down the edginess of? The original beefcake concept. Well, it was a whole different deal. The, you know, mm-hmm. beefcake was Brutus beefcake was like a male stripper. It was mm-hmm. the thing the beefcake was thing the, the, the strut the thing the, the, the outfits. I went to a to, I took it to a level that never anybody imagined with the clothes, with the outfits, with the bow tie, with the armbands, with the things on my legs, with the thing. All kind of stuff that had never been done before, and then, and the barber thing came out of left field because I had no clue they were going to do that. And I came back uh, to WrestleMania right after WrestleMania. I came. We we had TV in Rochester, New York, in, in the War Memorial there in Rochester, an old crappy building. And we, and we all showed up, and they handed me this white, like, <laughs> coat mm-hmm. and a pair of scissors and a th- comb. And they said, now you're the barber. And you say what? And I said, fuck you. <laughs> what do you mean, I'm the barber? What, is a, what, what are you talking about, I'm the barber? And, and and they they didn't have an answer. They didn't have a fucking clue what what what, what this meant. What are, where are we going with this? What are we going to do with this? There was nothing. And I just spent two and a half years mm. making Bruce Beefcake the hottest thing since sliced bread. A household word. Everybody hated me. They loved they they hate, loved to hate me. Bruce Beefcake was a freaking heel that was a real heel, old style school heel. Now I'm the barber? What is a barber? But you got it over. How'd you do it? Man, this is the story that nobody knows because I, uh, I went ballistic. I went 
crazy. I went nuts. I went. I was in the dressing room, you know, in a room, kicking the lockers, smashing stuff, saying, "I quit. This, this, this is you're, this is you're giving it to me right up the fucking keister with this. This ain't right. How can you? How can you do this? Why were you, you saying this to Pat? To the or office anybody. people. Yeah. yeah. Why would you? Why? Why would you change something? That's super red, white hot. Working. Would you? Know, why? Why? What? Why, why would you change something that's that good? Change it. Why would? Why what would they? Why? Pat Patterson. Was he trying to fuck you? Or did yeah. He, it was. Really? That was a. That was a direct. Because. And he, so, but uh, me and Hulkster are friends. Grew up together. Started in the business together. We're, uh, we're brothers. Tag teams in the business together, completely. And he couldn't. He couldn't do anything with for the Hulkster. But I was the younger fucking brother here. Thing you know, the the the, 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 the kid brother thing. Since I wasn't really his brother. So I'll push your brother around because I can't push uh, you around. That's right. And that's Why right. do you now, want to push Hogan? Were you well, jealous? Jealousy is a mother. So right after that, though, is that what Pat was doing to Terry Taylor? You think what, with he, the rooster? See, Pat, and why not call him the cock? Well, he if no, Pat that's Paris, it's a rooster. You think it's a so? Cock. Well, it's that's that's the whole deal with him. You know, he it's 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 about subtleties. Gotcha. It's about <laughs> thing with them. You know, they they like, they let to see where things will fall. Mm -hmm. You know, how you're going to deal with it. What are you going to do? What we're you know, about? and and and, and Hulkster. I, I was in, he pulled me in a back room and I was freaking bashing and shit. I was crashing stuff. I was like, what am I going to do? Where, how are we going to, the, the barber with this? Are you serious? What, what, the, what are we going to do? What is he how telling? am I going to do? What does he say? He says, what if every time you go to the ring, you cut somebody's hair? Every time. You put them in the sleeper, you cut their hair. So this is Terry's idea. The sleeper, and, the haircut. And I said, wow. Every time I go to the ring, I'm going to cut somebody's hair. Yeah, every time. I go, that might just work. Because anything less isn't going to happen. If I go to the ring and cut somebody's hair and then... Four weeks later, I come out and I cut somebody's hair. And then four weeks later, this it doesn't mean anything. But if I go to the ring every single time, every time, doesn't matter, and I put somebody to sleep and I cut their hair, that's going to make the gimmick get over.